Good morning, everyone. The Mass intentions for today for Pope Francis and Pope Emeritus Benedict and all bishops, priests, and religious for Sister Luciette and Fathers Ivan and Bogdan for the poor, the sick, the dying, and those recommended to our prayers. And we pray especially today for Isaac, Pope, as the 11 months to the day from his death. For the souls in purgatory and the conversion of sinners and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And it's the seventh and last day of the octave of Christmas. A child is born for us and a son is given to us. His scepter of power rests upon his shoulder and his name will be called Messenger of Great Council. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. To prepare ourselves to celebrate, let us first repent. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone, are the you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son, established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of salvation, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might be plain that they, are, they all are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all know. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and know that no lie is of the truth. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Then will all the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice. He will govern the peoples with his truth. The heavens rejoice, the earth be glad. Alleluia. Alleluia. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who receive him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of people. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light, the true light that enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. And from his fullness have we all received. Grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. So this is, as you know, the last day of the year, and it's a day for looking back. 
looking back on 2022. But we all look back in different ways, or at least there is a whole range of ways of looking back. Uh, we talk about people looking back with rose-tinted spectacles, so they see everything in a glowing light, a soft light. Others look back in anger or rage, and some look back in sadness, the loss of a close relative. When we look back as Christians, then really we should be able to see each day was a gift. Each moment of each day was a grace. And the question we might ask ourselves as Christians was, did we welcome the gift? of that day? Did we welcome the grace and truth? Or as the responsorial psalm this morning hinted, did we proclaim his salvation day by day? So the outstanding Christian response should be one of gratitude. Thanksgiving or the gifts we have received, the gift of life, the gift of our faith, and all the gifts that illumined our path. Even if we didn't share them adequately or appreciate them adequately. It's very interesting that in writing this magnificent prologue to his gospel, John says the most incredible sentence of all, the word was made flesh. But he translates it almost immediately into uh, the words grace and truth. The word made flesh is manifested in grace and truth. The graces that are poured out on us in such abundance, poured out on the world, and you might say, largely wasted. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So we live in grace and truth through Jesus Christ. And so we give thanks for the year that has just passed, and we pray for the ability to continue to live and find grace and truth in Jesus Christ. This is what gives meaning and spiritual dimension to our whole lives and keeps us on the path to eternal life. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, o graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor, when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, uh, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So in the power of the same Spirit, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> the body of Christ okay. the body of Christ okay. the body of Christ Amen. the body of 
body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience, both now and in the future, the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for the things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, for the ruin of souls. Amen.